You may have seen the headlines by now, but the IARC has classified aspartame as a group 2B carcinogen. So what exactly does that mean? First off, we need to understand what these IARC classifications mean. So the IARC assesses different substances and puts them into these different classifications of how strong the evidence is that it causes cancer in humans. Now, one very important thing to understand about these classifications is that they assess hazard and not risk. Risk takes into account dose, while hazard does not. So group one means there's sufficient evidence in humans for it to cause cancer. Things in that group are things like smoking, exposure to solar radiation, and alcoholic beverages. Group 2A means limited evidence in humans, but sufficient evidence in animals. Group 2B is limited evidence in humans, insufficient evidence in animals. This is where aspartame is classified. Some other things in that category are pickled vegetables. Group three is inadequate evidence in humans and animals. Now, once again, these classifications do not take into account dose, so they do not take into account the dose that humans can safely consume. The advice that actually takes dose into account actually comes from a separate WHO expert committee, the JECFA. And this is an expert committee specifically on food additives. This expert committee is also reviewing aspartame and they will make their findings public on July 14th. Since 1981, the JCFA has stated that aspartame is safe to consume within the acceptable daily limits. For example, that level would be between 12 to 36 cans of diet soda a day for an adult weighing 60 kilograms. So you can see once we take dose into account that there isn't necessarily a safety concern. This is one of the most studied food additives as well, so it's not that there's a lack of evidence either. There are quite a few large epidemiological studies looking at hundreds of thousands of people that have failed to find a link between aspartame and different types of cancer. So although the headlines can seem really scary, you really need to understand what these IARC classifications mean and need to understand dose as well, because like I said, these classifications do not take into account dose. I'll probably make another video when the JCFA releases their findings on July 14th. If you are consuming products with aspartame, I would say that this recent IARC classification shouldn't scare you and it shouldn't necessarily make you not consume it anymore. Of course, unless you are consuming over 36 cans of diet soda a day on a daily basis. By the way, 36 cans of Diet Coke would be around 1500 milligrams of caffeine. So you might have some issues with that well before the aspartame.